Hello everybody, welcome to this segment on sample lines. Sample lines are a feature that are used for a number of different purposes. For instance, we can use sample lines if we intend on generating some section views, some cross sections, or if we uh, want to generate some volumes later, we will need some sample lines. So uh, first let's go ahead and create some sample lines. So I'm going to select the sample line button off my home tab. Uh, on my command line it says to select an alignment or press a key to enter. So if you can't see your alignment, what you're going to need to do is uh, hit your enter key and you can select it off the dialog box. Say OK and uh, our prompt comes up for uh, filling in what we want to call our sample line group. So for instance maybe we want this sample line group to uh, be used for some section views. So I will call this uh, cross section views. We can create as many sample line groups as we want. So uh, you can specify the style uh, of their, your sample line, but uh, more importantly, uh, go ahead and select what surfaces you would like to sample. So in this case, uh, if I'm doing some cross-section views, then I might want to generate a sample line group that is going to sample my existing ground surface and maybe my top surface. So you can uh, have more than one or two in this box, but uh, pick at least uh, uh, one surface in order to sample. So go ahead and say OK. And uh, up comes our little cross-section dialog box here. We're going to fill in some stuff in this section. Notice that you've got a little line here tied to your mouse. Uh, that's for any special sections. We'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, first off, though, we're going to sample a range of stations. So I'm going to hit this uh, drop down here on my toolbar, select uh, by range of stations. And this is probably the fastest way to generate some sample lines quickly. So we'll want to go from the start to the end. And uh, you'll want to know your swath width. So this is the distance, the offset distance on each side of your alignment uh, that it will sample. So if you have fairly deep cut and fills, your daylighting lines will extend out farther. You should be sure that your width on both the left and the right side are going to be wide enough to extend past your corridor extents. So if you don't know, if you're unsure of that, then you should exit out of this box and uh, take a look at your corridor and find the widest location and input something that's slightly bigger there. For instance, if I had a section here that was uh, perhaps uh, 35 meters wide on each side of my alignment, then in my range box here, I would probably want to put something a little bit larger than that, like for instance 40 or something. But uh, just make sure you've got enough width there to cover the uh, width of your widest part of your alignment. Now your sampling increments, this is really important. So if you want to generate some cross sections every 50 meters uh, along the tangents or the curves, you can go ahead and add that in. If you are generating sample lines for volumes, you probably want to go much tighter on these uh, increments. Because the smaller the increment, the more accurate your volumes will be. Now also, uh, you want to take a look at uh, some sample control so we can uh, sample any critical horizontal geometry points if we want, uh, like the beginning curves, ending of curves, that uh, might be important to you. But once you've got that configured, go ahead and say OK. And uh, here comes that little red line again. So this is just for any special stations. Notice that if we have any uh, critical stations that may represent uh, important uh, unique points along our corridor, we can sample those as well. So for instance, if I had a, uh, a culvert crossing or something like that at station 2100, I could type that in manually if I wanted to, or I could graphically go ahead and uh, pick it off directly off the screen if I like. Okay, just select a point and uh, specify the left and the right swath width. And if you're finished, hit enter one more time and you'll notice that these little blue sample lines pop up. Notice I've got a little bit uh, tighter sampling around my curves and at critical geometry points. But each one of these little blue lines represents a sample line. And you can go check out in your prospector tab under the alignment section. Remember everything is tied to your center line alignment. So if I expand out my uh, center line alignment, you'll notice I have a sample line group there now called cross section views. And if you want, you can uh, expand that out and find some different sections there as far as uh, what surfaces it's sampling. If you need to make any changes, 
Uh, you can right click on the cross section views sample line group the one you just made go into the properties and uh, you can edit up any of these options so if you need to uh, selectively widen out uh, a couple of sections you can go ahead and do that uh, in the sections tab if you want to sample some additional surfaces uh, maybe you forgot to add in a surface that you required you can go ahead and sample more if you want by clicking the surface on the left hand side and selecting add um, if you have any section views currently generated from the sample line group, it will tell you here in this tab. So feel free to edit those up and uh, if you uh, need to make any changes through that properties box. So that's about it for sample line groups. Thanks for watching.